Today we're using a stovetop coffee maker, also known as a milk pot, that brews coffee by passing boiling water pressurized by steam through ground coffee. To brew coffee using the mocha pot, the lower chamber or the boiler is filled with water just below the level of the safety release valve. Some models have an etched water level sign and the funnel shaped metal filter is inserted. Finely ground coffee is added to the filter. Then the upper chamber, which has a second metal filter at the bottom, is tightly screwed onto the base. The pot is placed on a suitable heat source, the water is brought to its boiling point and thereby steam is created in the boiler. A gasket ensures a tightly closed unit and allows for pressure to safely build up in the lower section where a safety valve provides a necessary release in case this pressure should get too high. With clean filters, this should not happen. The steam eventually reaches a high enough pressure to gradually force the surrounding boiling water up the funnel through the coffee powder and into the upper chamber where the coffee is collected. Although the boiler on a mocha pot contains steam at elevated temperature and pressure, the water forced up through the grounds is no hotter than used in other brewing methods. When the lower chamber is almost empty, bubbles of steam mix with the unstreaming water, producing a characteristic gurgling noise. This gurgling noise may be absent on some models. The mocha pot comes in various sizes based on the number of espresso cups that they produce. For example, 1, 3, 6, 9 or 12 cups. The Bialati Mocha Express has become iconic and has allowed millions of consumers worldwide to enjoy great tasting Italian coffee right at home. Today I'm going to be using my Allegra stovetop coffee maker. So there are three basic parts for our stovetop coffee maker. Here we have the upper chamber where the Italian style coffee is collected. This is the bottom chamber, which is filled with water, and this is the metal funnel, which is inserted into the bottom chamber and filled with coffee grains. This is the safety valve, and water is to be poured only up to the level just below the safety valve. Now we're going to fill our funnel filter with the coffee grounds. Now some like to pack it really tightly and some like to just level it off. The instructions that came with this coffee maker specify that it is just to be leveled off and that the rim is to be wiped clean. We now insert the funnel filter into the lower chamber. Screw the upper part tightly onto the lower part but without exaggerating and without putting pressure on the handle. Now we can place this coffee pot over the appropriate sized burner. Make sure that the burner size aligns with the size of your mocha pot. The flame has to be directly beneath the pot. If the flame is too big you also risk the chance of your handle getting burnt. For better results, keep your mocha pot on low to medium flame. If you notice water escaping from the top of the bottom chamber, it means that our pot is not screwed on tightly enough. Use protective mittens to screw on the top chamber properly and do not exert pressure on the handle. Depending on the size of the mocha pot as well as the diameter of the flame below, in around 2 minutes we should start to see the signs of the coffee coming up to the upper chamber as a result of the steam created below. At first it will be in small spurts and then slowly into a steady stream of coffee. 
You want to close the lid and allow the upper chamber to be filled with coffee. And please do note that the upper chamber will not be completely filled. You will only have as much coffee as there was capacity in the lower chamber to fill water with. So usually just about half to three-fourths of the upper chamber will be filled with coffee. When the coffee coming out of the pipe becomes weaker, the coffee pot starts to produce puffs of steam mixed with the coffee. At this point, you can switch off the source of heat. Serve your strong Italian coffee as you would like. Today, I'm going to be adding some milk and milk foam, as well as sugar. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.